Alright guys, hello, 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 how are you, can you hear me, it looks like you can hear me, which is uh, very nice, how is everyone doing today, I hope you guys are doing fantastic, I uh, hope everyone is, yikes, Minecraft, yes, 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 um, how are you kebab remover, induju, granite, gran, granol loot, granol coral, Mr. Muffy, Butterman, Sam, Valdo, Waldo, I mean, Aqui, so Wizards or Avery, man, that's been a while since I've seen you, Avery, and Aiden F as well, how are you guys doing today, welcome, welcome, welcome to a little bit of a stream, uh, we're going to be working on this last building here, surrounding the market square for today, and I hope that we can at least get all of the exterior things done, uh, and then, um, yeah, get it done with all of the exteriors before we hopefully can do a little bit of interior today as well, which would be very cool. Um, glad I could hit the sweet spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome, man. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, oh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I saw you had a lot of, lot of streamers out there. Uh, my last night in the current flat. Oh, man, so exciting, butter, man. Where are you moving? And Runescraft, hello, 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 hello. Uh, I actually want to go home. Let me see here. And go back just so we can uh, get the map up. Um, so we can see what we're doing. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to work on this, which is going to be a silk trader. Uh, I need to adjust my chair as usual. I don't know where the highway bridge is, but okay. That's very cool. Um, let me see here. We have Aqui here as always, stalking us. If you wouldn't mind, could you go slash GM3 or Game03 um, for the replays? That would be great, man. But just feel free to hang around, but just not in my face. That would be very, very cool. Uh, moving into two bedroom place. Ah, oh, man. I hope that's bigger than your already one. Thank you, Aqui. Um, hope that's bigger for you. Hope you're not downgrading. But uh, anyway, that's always fun to, to move a little bit. Um, so you know what? Oh man. Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna be working on on this little bit right here today, um, and get like this area here done at least. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Cable remover. Uh, it's a joke. I, I get it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna get that done, but before we start with that guys, make sure to share the stream if you have people that you think might be interested in watching some detailed Minecraft live action building. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to share it with your friends, uh, cause that's gonna be fun. Uh, and this is gonna be the last building we're gonna do for the market square. Obviously, there's not much space for any other houses here. It's a bigger place, awesome man. Uh, and then we're gonna start getting into the market stalls and stuff so hopefully we can get to that uh today as well uh, i'm gonna go out and just going to get straight into replay today so i'm gonna waste any time i've been working for my bachelor thesis all day hey thank you santiago for the follow i really really do appreciate that uh, means a lot that you want to hang out with me here uh let's get that I i've already planned out a little bit of a <laughs> column design here. I got some chocolate. Oh man, can we share some? I would love to have some chocolate milk right now. Uh, but yeah, I've been spending my whole day working on my bachelor thesis, and it's it's going very slow now. In the beginning, uh, I am setting up an API, and, and the version that I'm currently using is not the one that I have been using in the past. So it's a little different, and it acts a little different than I I'm used to. Uh, which means uh, it's a little bit problematic for me from time to time to, to understand how to use it properly. Uh, can we do something like that? Would that be very cool? No sharing, but please. <laughs> please. My channel is a communist channel. I hope you knew that. Darwin Reforged is also a communist uh, channel. So you gotta share, man. Unless I'll get uh, Silv, Sil after you. She, she, she's pretty, pretty scary when she's angry, believe me. Uh, I wonder, 
if I should just do this. I think we'll do that. Uh, just for a base here. That's a pretty neat looking base for the build. And then we can pop up some kind of window here, can't we? Yeah. Let's do that. A big window and then a little bit of a door action happening here. Um, I want to put in maybe something like that. Ada tra Tracker, welcome, welcome. Stream time, boys and grills. Yes, boys and grills. Let's have a barbecue. <laughs> uh, let's do that. Yeah, uh, and I think I'm gonna possibly use that one and then do rail um, and maybe do something. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What's good, Altova? Al Alot? Alto? Alto. There we go. That's the name. Alto. What's up? Uh, we're just uh, building uh, stuff as normal, you know. Uh, I kind of like that, to be honest. These textures are a little wonky, but I can live with that. And then we do. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and then... I really like this magenta... Um, terracotta. And the man of the hour, Katsuko! How are you, man? Welcome! If you didn't see, guys, I just... I made a showcase video. My first showcase video in such a long time. Which was of some ama absolutely amazing buildings uh, ships actually floating buildings by uh, cats go which uh, yeah I'm just blown away by how good they were and it was such a blast doing um, doing a showcase on that so after the stream not now but after the stream go over to my youtube channel it should be in the panel down below if you're not already there I really do hope that you are already uh, part of the channel but if you're not could happen, you know, uh, hop over there after the stream and check out that video Because uh, you're gonna be blown away most likely like I was Gotta keep, catch up with the videos, better man. Yes, sir No, sir, that's not working. No I can in theory do that because I have two thick walls so I can I can actually also squeeze in a different kind of block. Maybe... How does this texture here fit? Ooh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's give that a shot, shall we? Not exactly what I wanted. Um, maybe this one? And we can do... Ooh. Now this feels a little too unsupported right now. Maybe just like that. Yeah, why not? Hello there, Hisa. How are you? I'm going to leave if you don't turn. You don't like the music? Well, give me a little bit. We just got to get in the mood. Just setting, setting the medieval mood here. And then we're going to turn on some Vexento music, perhaps. Who knows? Any ideas? It got to be no copyrighted, though. Uh, but if you have great no copyright music ideas, we might pop that on. And Dractus, hey, 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 Sumika, hey. How are you, Dractus? Welcome. Guys, make sure to check out Dractus. Let's give him a, a little bit of a shout out. A fellow Conquest YouTuber. He's been doing the grindy work of building it. It's an absolutely insane building on uh, on I think it's wrecked server right now and commando lies sorry dude sorry dude hello and uh, sing for us should I I should I could make the background music hello Ravayo by the way welcome welcome have you had a great weekend 
Do I see you tomorrow? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. That's cool. Um, I want to squeeze in this block though. Where can I squeeze this block? This beautiful block. Can I? Maybe that's going to go there. And then this one go in the back here. We're onto something now. That looks fine. No, we don't have class, but I'm always at school on Mondays. So uh, I guess if you were on school on at university on Mondays, I'd see you there. I don't know. That is fire. That's cool. Um, what are we trying to do? Uh, we're trying to build a house. Uh, more... Uh, more close or more exactly a silk trader uh, so it's going to be like medieval styled um, or gothic more or less and um, and it's going to be um, yeah gothic that's what you get Go and it's going to be like a so uh, silk trader in the basement I think and then yeah um, let's do that and I think I'm just going to use... This... Whoops... That kind of window design for this. I think I want to give the blue plaster a try. I know it's not the most perfect, absolutely not the most beautiful color. Uh, but I think if we work around it, I think we can make it work. And for me, Crasper is all about showing wealth and having just a lot of variation of the buildings. Uh, we do have like orange, we have yellow, we have red, we have pink. And I, do, I think we can make blue work. But we got to just play a little bit with it. Um... Yeah, I did stream survival in uh, in uh, yeah a few days ago, and I'm I'm working on a survival video which should come out soon, and uh, kind of fo focusing on what we did in the stream and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, it's not my main priority at the moment. Can I put? No. Nah. Uh, I might put in a different block there though as a detail like this one a beautiful block Yeah, I think that works <laughs> Hello there symbiome welcome 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 Bonjour Ça va? It's funny, <laughs> me and you always have this French conversation whenever you join in, but I, I, I know no, no word in French, pretty much. After five years, still don't remember anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, let me see, I saw a message. Did you hear about the medieval conquest? Yes, I did. And honestly, I am super excited. I might actually convert to that at least give it a shot and just play with it because um, it is a really cool idea uh, the bottom look good not the top though uh, well thank you for feedback uh, still I want to try to make this top work but uh, we might have to fall back a lot of times when I build I, I, I had to redo the whole entire thing but hello commando lies I said to Aqui earlier today, if you want to, like, hang around, please go into uh, spectator mode, so, so you're not... Did this block just move? No. Uh, yeah, I'm going crazy, I think. Uh, please go into spectator mode, so you're not, like, in the replay, because I have to edit you out, and it's tedious. <laughs> so, uh, if you just want to hang out, lurk, just go to spectator mode. That would be... Very much appreciated. Thank you. Hey, Smog, welcome. Welcome. Let's do that. Gramless getting in with the big guys. Indeed. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> uh, do that. Hmm.
Uh, does it look like a face? Well, I feel like a lot of buildings do look like faces though. Um, I don't mind this building so far. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, but again, I think I want to go all out on this design. And if it eventually just doesn't turn out looking anything close to what I wanted to, uh, I'll just fall back on it. And maybe maybe it, all it takes is just a different color. Uh, but um, yeah. We'll give it a shot and then... Um, yeah, worst case scenario, we just change the color, you know. That's kind of cool. Hello there, Ro Rolaski. Welcome. Uh, I don't have that plugin, uh, but I'm playing the Witcher theme right now. There's something a little odd here, though. Yeah, we'll probably have to do shutters as well, but I don't think that is what really messes this up. I think just a little bit of the proportions here, that's not correct. Yeah, I think that could work. And then, uh, yeah, as Kebab Remover suggested, we can do a little bit of um, of detailing in there. Uh, we're gonna put some shutters though, and those probably needs to be on a little bit on the more boring side. Um, to be realistic. Uh, yeah, but again, I, it has to be co no copyright music, and yeah, if that works, if you can find me some no copyright music, uh, I could, yeah, definitely check that or put that on, but. I think I should do symmetrical shutters. Usually I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, I feel like. That's definitely not what I want. Oh, but what I could do is... I could use these. And those kind of work. And then we can put a rack... On, up there, and we can add the buttons. Yeah, that's cool. I like this building. It's a little different, but I think it doesn't like... I don't think it messes with the general style we have. Uh, can I do that maybe? Or even... Hmm. Now, I'll actually put a window in here, uh, and then I... Oh. I might do that.
Maybe. Ooh, yeah, we could try. Blue wallpaper could work, yeah. Let's, um. Or maybe even play with this. Because we can. No. <laughs> nah, maybe blue. Hopefully it's... It's not entirely symmetrical here, but... Ah, uh, that's a little much, to be honest. I'm uh, not sold on that. Hello there, Young Bank. Uh, how do you rotate this wooden desk in your building? Oh yeah, you gotta put it in item frames. Just put it in them item frames. And it will rotate straight around for you. I think that's gonna work, to be honest. I, 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 I was not entirely sure on the blue to begin with. Uh, but... I think, I think it could work. Hey, hello to Rod, Ritter Maboos. Welcome. It's been a while, man. How are you today? Uh, we could even try to implement this block. Maybe put that up there. To tie kind of together. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> that works. All right. I I'm gonna... Hey, Scry. Hello. I didn't see you there. How barbaric. Yeah, sorry, dude. After you built me the fountain, I don't need you anymore. So I'll stop pr uh, pretending like I care for you, okay? After you did what I needed you for, I'm gonna just leave you in the ashes, alright? <laughs> well, it's good to hear, man. It's good to hear, Raider. Uh, you know what? Let's... Uh... Let's do some quick world edit here. <laughs> Don't make me mad. Sorry, dude. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go like too much in detail and in depth and stuff for for this building right now. Um, whoops. I might even just... Um, and then just bring this but I want to do a little bit of a gate below here So we're gonna get to that so we kind of get that in the time-lapse and then we can do um, the roof and stuff like that afterwards Because that is boring stuff and it just takes a lot of time and I have done plenty of roof to uh, Time-lapses already. So we're just gonna do that. Maybe even plop down this one This building here is going to be difficult though because it's going to be a lot of the sides that are open to the to like the outside so we can to put windows and stuff in so we really got to do a proper interior uh do you have any pets uh, uh well yeah i do well not now but i kind of kind of have a pet yeah i do have uh or my parents have a cat which I kind of, like, yeah, when I, before I left home, I don't know, uh, uh, I had a cat. But now it's still at my parents' house without me. So, uh, but whenever I get there, it's still my cat, kind of. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. What I want to do here is some kind of overly decorated gate just like very ornate uh, let's see here and then maybe we can bring Let's do that and then do uh, 
Yeah. Just make a balcony with greenery on top of it. On top of this one. Or on top of this one. Ooh, you... You sparked a, an idea for me right now, which uh, I might have to follow. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so, so follow me now, guys. It could be what you meant, but if not, I'm a genius and you just inspired me. But if it was what you meant, we're both geniuses, alright? Paste. Let's do that. Very, very nice. Why are you so dark in here now? Don't get it. Um, and then I can put the garden on top there. Which we can enter. I gotta move this window though, but... We can do a door here. I guess this is kind of what you meant, yeah. Uh, so we're both pretty smart. <laughs> I'm not letting you have this one for yourself. Uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of this one. Uh, this window, I, I could just lower it like that. Uh, just quickly... Can I move that? I absolutely can move that one to the side. That won't be a problem. So we do that. He understands me. I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got that. And then I just... I'm going to use this to create the vault here, the vaulted ceiling, and that's going to be... I don't get why it's so very dark in here. It's kind of annoying. Alright, cool. And then, can we just use that as... Nah, that's too big. Too heavy. And we can do like a nice garden up there. I love that idea, man. Thank you so much. That's gonna be very cool to work with. A little bit of a different thing. That's your job. Yeah, I use you whenever I'm stuck. It's kind of like, uh, Scry, help, please, can you do that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you kind of become uh, a very, very useful helper for me. Hey, Mr. Mafi, welcome. Welcome today. How are you? Can I do some kind of... No, nah, let's... How far can I take this? That is the problem, or the question, not a problem, it's... It's just a question. Because um, if I... Let's say I bring... Bring that up...
Oh yeah, absolutely, Runus Craft. We're so close now. Uh, we do that, all right. J just hang with me, guys. I, I have something up, up in the hat holder here. Uh, I have an idea up there, uh, which uh, I maybe, hopefully, can bring alive here. So, whoops. I think I saw it, man. If you, unless you shared it recently, I think I th it looked just like a wool layout thing. I'm pretty sure I saw it, but if not, uh, I'll check it out. I always check out the stuff. Oh man, your internet! <laughs> oh no, that's the worst thing. I had an issue whenever I when I started the stream today because I had uh, I changed out my router and stuff yesterday, and uh, so my stream wouldn't work. But um. I got it to work, obviously. But that was kind of uh, not so fun. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's gonna be it for the replay. Hey, Vasan! <laughs> You, you change your name, but not much, not much. Or unless your name was like uh, Brian or something. But if it's Vasa, uh, then you didn't change much. Yeah. It's kind of weird and it feels kind of bad. Because uh, I remember growing up without like internet and stuff. But just thinking that if my internet is down now, my day is over, you know? But back in the day, uh, if my internet was down, it was like, what's the internet? <laughs> uh, I just I just love sometimes just like take a break and, and go out, zoom out and see um, how huge and big. Oh, it would wa was a place. All right, I see. Yeah. But still kind of close. Thank you, Ritki, for the follow. Really appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Hope you are doing great today. I think we all are. Um, so yeah, it's so good to see this. It's a, actually a big section because the buildings are massive. And uh, this section here is like... It's all of... The, pretty much the same size as the Hill of Opportunity, isn't it? I think... This is the Hill of Opportunity over here. Uh, let, let me show you that. The thing is kebab remover. I have been spending over a year on this thing. If I'm adding this, we, we just add another year to the whole process. <laughs> so, for now, I'll focus on getting this land here done. If that is done and I feel inspired to keep on Krasberg, I'll do something here. But if I'm done with Krasberg, if I want to do something completely different, uh, I'll move away f from this, alright? Uh, but I, I want to do something there, but I would just want to focus on getting the whole thing done. And here we got the Hill of Opportunity. Uh, actually, one of the, the my favorite places for from this place. Uh, it's just so colorful and different. And it's one of the first places we built as well. Square of Fortune, yes. I'm not sure. Did we put a name for the square? Was it Square of Fortune? I don't know. I don't think it was. I don't know. You wouldn't mind? <laughs> but wouldn't you be even more excited about a different kind of building? Hey, Ragnar, welcome. Some Krasberg work today. Definitely Krasberg. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Krasberg all the way today. Uh, I'm gonna cheat a little bit today. I have done that with a couple of these buildings just because it's so straightforward. So I'm gonna do that. No action. No, that's okay. That's okay.
and then I'll rotate it and paste that down like that and yeah okay I kind of like the name though, Square of Fortune. I think that's kind of cool. I, I kind of like the name. Um, so yeah, we got that. Just a simple copy paste, but why not? These buildings are also seen, you know. Uh, I did some planning here the other day, and I think what I'm going to do is to build like a divider here, like some kind of brick wall, retaining wall, which goes about to this level here. And then I'll flat this entire thing and do some kind of temple church thing uh, on this flatter land and then wrap the wall around. And then this wall is going to connect up with the cliff, which is going to kind of come up here. Um, so it's going to be a very big like sea cliff here, which meets up there. And I'm going to pop in a few buildings here. And then I'm going to do some kind of park just behind the, the bank here. It's mostly square. <laughs> uh, fortune is better. Fortune Platz? Yeah, that's kind of German. Uh, that could work with the Krasberg name though. Uh, and then this cliff is going to continue for a little bit. Before I'm gradually going to turn it down. And maybe continue with the city wall. Uh, and then, yeah. And then I think... I'm going to see if I can squeeze in an arena in this place and that's what I'm going to do next I think like when I'm done with this I got to plan out where the arena is going to be uh, it could be there it could possibly be here as well um, I'm not sure how big this place is that would be kind of cool actually I still kind of like square for square of fortune. I think that's the best. I think it would be cool to actually have it here. I don't know. I'll have to do some planning, figure out the size of it, and then see where I can put it down. Uh, yeah, I was hoping to put it somewhere around here, but we'll see how big it eventually turns out. Hello, the backyard man. That's been a while. Things are going good here. How are you? All right, so um, yeah, Let, let's see if we can do a little bit of an interior planning here. I just gotta say, I was really worried for the blue to begin with, but I think it worked. A Pete Peter Esperada, is that correct? I hope so. Welcome. How are you? I hope you are doing fantastic. Uh, this was a silk trader, wasn't it? Yeah. We could do a window here, so let's open that up. It's kind of cool. Um, the thing is here, we got to use some of the actual outside wall here. But uh, apart from that, I think we can... Mm. Yeah, I like to use double thick walls. Like for example here. This is the outside, but the inside is a different texture. Uh... But here I won't be able to do that because, uh, well, I could go there, but then this window wouldn't work. And if I remove that, then the window's not going to be centered in the arch and so on. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll get back into Conquest Reforge soon, hopefully. Well, I got this inspiration for you. Pop on here. Pop on the server. Check out. Hang out. Have fun. <laughs> All of that stuff. Yes. Absolutely. Um, but so, so we're going to use some of the actual outside walls here and I don't think that's too bad if we do that and then put up some kind of vaulted ceiling I think it could look pretty badass to be honest um, and then we could potentially wrap the back side in <laughs> yeah me too. Uh, a lot of problems. It really helps when you have buildings next to each other like this. 
because that means um, this wall here is not two blocks thick. This block is only one, so if I remove that, we're already here. But you won't see that from the outside. Double thick. Yes, like myself. <laughs> uh, so, so that kind of helps when you're doing row houses uh, But if you're doing like standalone houses You really gotta plan that stuff out Because uh, it's gonna be huge It's gonna be huge Humongous when you uh, If you do it the double thick wall thing So So I'm gonna do it like this And then the whole store is gonna be Out of stone just to keep it simple And uh, we're gonna do a nice vaulted ceiling And Play around with that and hopefully we can make some cool like um he's selling silk and i assume silk would be like things made out of silk like um, rugs or um, scarves clothes and stuff uh, i kind of imagine that's what a guy selling selling stuff like this would sell i'm gonna steal this design put that in the middle but I'm actually going to elevate it up slightly. So we're going to find a block for the floor, which I'm just going to put this, use this here. Uh, I think you should make the ground on the same level then. Uh, no, I think I need to elevate it. I like to elevate it. <laughs> I like to elevate it. Always elevate your house. But yeah. Uh, hey, Summarize. I'd like to approach you regarding business. Uh, please go to my Discord, man. Uh, what is it about, Summarize? Uh, usually I don't, I don't do stuff for businesses, you know. <laughs> but um, you, you'll find my Discord down in the panels down below. So go down there and... and Contact me and I'll come back to you. Maybe Elevator we go man <laughs> I like to elevate it stuff elevator man. Could that be my new name? Sure do that Very cool um, And then we will I think just yeah, we don't have the normal The floor is gonna be there Alright, uh, I have a lot of space for the vaulted ceiling in here, so that's going to be good. So do that and that, and then I can go like all in and just put in a decorative block, like this one for example. But that's very bad. It looks horrible. So let's not do that. Let's do... Um, we could do that or that or the red one. The red one is beautiful. Or we could just do wood. Let's do some planks and we can make them colored. Just for the sake of it. Hey, backyard. Welcome. What's that funky, funky skin? Uh, let's see here. Um... Or orange orange I don't know uh, red oh no I think it's time to, to move over to some Vexento today though, music wise, I promise you that, so we'll do that, enjoy this. A little bit more calming, better for doing interior stuff. Uh, the backyard, I, I want to say to you the same as, oh hello darkness old friend, <laughs> uh, as I said to the other, the other people that are stalking me, uh, feel free to just go into Go into um, to game mode three if you're like stalking, so you don't like stand in my way. When you know <laughs> Vigo Man's gonna go all in, it's gonna be wild. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, 
I think that could work. Uh, I love when you have some extra room for doing like ceilings. That means you can... Uh, first of all, you can do whatever you want with the floor up here. It won't interrupt downstairs. Meaning I probably should make... I could make this out of stone, to be honest, since we have a vaulted ceiling as well. You know what? I'm gonna make this... Like that. Stock, we go, yeah. I should make that a command, which automatically just teleports you on the server and puts you uh, like three blocks in front of me. Whatever I look, you just move like in front of me. That would be a fun programming project. Thanks. I just gotta say though, Scry came up with this genius. Well, me, me and Scry together. <laughs> I'm stealing this. I came up with this idea here, and it's just beautiful. Does Conquest use? I think I thought it was 64, but it could be 32. Uh, can anyone help me answer this? Will I build crypts underneath the city? Um. Uh, this was way longer than I thought. Uh, yes, I will. It's done. Happy now? <laughs> I have a lot of crypts already all over the place. And this... Ooh. Like you're thinking there, kebab remover. The crypts are massive, uh, so it goes into some kind of caves and stuff. Very nice. Cryptocurrency, yeah. So this just goes on kind of forever, so yeah, we do that. So what I'm going to try to do um, is this p dude or girl, gal, is that what you say over there in the States? I don't know. Would be selling textiles and they would probably be on some kind of role. So what I'm going to, I have an idea of how we can do this, but I'm not sure how to properly like implemented so we'll we'll try this together So we do that, and then we can just add another row with different textures, like textiles. Um, is there any cool, like, just pure textile, though? Ah, why not? What is brocade? Is that something? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, so let's... Um, this is supposed to be like rolls and then you just like Pull it down and then cut it somehow.
and one final textile. Maybe this one here. No. Oh, it was some kind of fabric. Um, how would you kind of do that in Minecraft, though? That's the question. <laughs> uh, but. No, I don't. It has to be like a continuous pattern thing. Um, I, I guess. But I kind of want to, I want to see if how move one down, just see how. If I then can do some kind of um, like system where they kind of spin on. <laughs> um, Actually, I guess I could just do something like that, you know? And just to create some depth. Oh, wow. Voice crack. <laughs> uh, we could do something like that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, for the brocade, use Indian mosaic. Yeah, we gotta fi figure out a way to use this. Um, but anyway, we got that, uh, and I think. This whole first floor would be it's very similar to Golden Brocat. Okay, we will see if we can make that work. Uh, I think I will leave this like semi open so that the, the whole like first floor is the shop and the workshop. Good morning, Genova. Is there... I guess we could just put like tools. Like that. That's how you cut it. Uh, and there are some extra textiles just laying on the ground here, you know. And then they would probably have... A desk somewhere about there uh, and we'll do something like that it's going great Genova how are you doing So maybe someone has bought uh, your brocade, Mr. Uh, Mr. Scry. So we'll do that. Like he's purchasing that 
and uh, yeah and then we will do I think we'll do a flower in the corner again just adding a lot of color to Crasper that's one of my main focuses especially for the the wealthy part Oh man, yeah, doing that is something I've just given up on because it definitely takes too long to organize your PC and stuff. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, I've been very, well, for my first computer I was really bad at that, but as I've kind of use my computer more I've learned to uh, like properly allocate uh, memory or um, not memory but um, storage so uh, that is not a big problem anymore for me because um, I usually have like separate partitions for all the different things so I never really run out on the OS disk anymore but yeah it kind of sucks <laughs> whenever you run out of storage on that one Yeah, why not? Uh, it's only... Okay, yeah. I guess it kind of helps. I have... Um, I have 500 gigs, I think, on mine. And then I have 2 terabytes on my other, so... Uh, yeah. If I, just, if I just systematically install stuff on the correct hard drive, it's not a problem, but... But I have had the similar problem so many times. Thank you so much, Midnight Chrono, for the follow. Welcome to my stream. I hope you are doing fantastic. Uh, let's do this, this, and this. We got a little back exit here. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, everything is installed on the OS disk. And uh, you think, it's, yeah, of course, I'll just install it here. And then five years or seven years later, he's like, oh, yeah, now I see why. <laughs> don't go to l -ship. I don't like them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Um... I see. Uh, you see. Oh! Hi, sir. <laughs> yeah, she always likes to, to come hang out with us in streams. <laughs> so, that's not a, not a surprise that she decided to show up today. Well, well. Yeah, I hate ordering stuff because I need to pick it up, which sucks, means I have to go out <laughs> and pick it up. Well, well, uh, I'll put in actually some stones for the, or like tiles here because uh, we have a vaulted ceiling so we can support a little bit of a heavier floor, uh, which is more fire resistance for the kitchen that we're going to build up here. So, oh no, that's not gonna go there though. I need to do this. And, and it's not that I don't like going outside, it's just that it's so long. <laughs> I have to walk for 40 minutes almost. Especially if the package is heavy. And it's just horrible. Now we're gonna have another struggle with this thing, won't we?
Or I could just move the door a little bit, of course. Smarty pants. Yo, Aqui, what up? And then for this bit, I'm going to use the wood. I forgot the building. Let me get a... Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the downstairs. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll get to it. I forgot the back here. Ishweiss, yes, I know. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm I'm gonna do for the back. That's gonna be like the production area, I think. I don't, I don't think there will be a loom, uh, but there would be like sewing bits for s not, not not like I'm suing you, but like we not not, not us. What do you call them? Like for I don't know. <laughs> like you would cut the textiles. The customer would just yeah, I want the robe in in this color, but then I want the belt to be this. All right, all right, I'll fix. Cut, swip needles. Stingy, stingy, uh, makey, makey, uh, and you do that on the back room here. Like a tailor, yeah, I guess that would be the correct word. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... We'll do just a table like that, and then have textiles hanging off. Or maybe, yeah, like something like that. And, and then... That, oh, that actually looks like a needle, kind of. Somewhat. <laughs> uh, so we'll do that, and, and then he would, he would have like an armor stand thingy, maybe to test stuff on. And we'll put some armor, and I think we'll color that. Uh, we'll do. Actually, let's just do the top, uh, and then I think red would be nice. Something like that. Oh yeah, do you know what? Just, I just hate working with um, armor stands. I never seem to figure out how they work, so I just given up on that. Uh, but if anyone is an expert and want to help me out with that, I guess I could try, but I'm not spending too much time on just dwelling on that. It just takes forever. And I never get it right. A wooden thingy that's in... F in You want this instead? Hello, Aqui. <laughs> Maybe that's better. Hey, Barsian. And the unlucky Munchies as well. Welcome. Uh, I kind of I'm not I'm not sure whoops what I like the most but I, I definitely put some kind of sack on the head for this one does this one look good though no I think I'm more in for that or could I Okay. I'm cheating it in. <laughs> uh.
I got another idea. Uh, you know, as I said, I hate working with armor stands. Uh, so if I can cheat the armor stand thing in. I'll do that. So we'll do so, and then we will take um, Ash Layer. And then we go undo, and then it falls true. So that's not ideal. Hmm. I'm always struggling with armor stance. <laughs> Don't like you mentioned. Yes. Okay, we got that then. <laughs> and um, warp player heads. Let's see if we can find something that's look. Uh, hello there, can't find an awesome name. <laughs> Barely didn't see you there. Just disappearing in chat, but welcome. Uh, these look like sacks almost, or yeah. Oh, that's a massive head. That's way too big. Uh, you know what? I might actually have to go for your design here. <laughs> but what we can do is to put... Uh, or no, that there's this... Is that here? Yes, this burlap block. Oh, this is not an armor workshop. This is a tailor for um, textiles and nice, very expensive silk and stuff. Uh, we're just trying to do like, uh, what do you call those where you fit the, the tailored stuff? I might not even use it because I'm not sold on any of the designs so far. I'll leave that open for now uh, and then we'll just continue with this thing. Um, There are some great overlays for this, so... Like this one here, perfect. For what we're doing here today, so we'll do that. A mannequin, yes. <laughs> Make you go on the server. Okay, I don't need you then. I'm fine by myself. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, I guess if you come on the server, you, you, you gotta help me out. Because you seem to know what you're doing with the blocks. You know your way around the, the conquest blocks. Better than me, I feel like. Which uh, I don't appreciate, to be honest, because... I feel like that should be me, but, but but okay. I just I guess I just gotta live with that. It's the same word in French. I assume you're French then.
and we'll do bring this one across maybe let's I don't know don't know the design but I'm testing it okay yeah but if you feel like I don't feel like you have to come on and do it uh, but if you do I would love to see a great mannequin design I guess we could ask the server anyone whoops have a good mannequin design Um, yeah, so let's see. <laughs> no, man, don't, don't do it, man. Just enjoy your evening without the server for once. I can put in a mannequin another day if you ever make one. Uh, I think what we for this side here I think I'll just kind of leave that with for some paintings maybe or maybe hang some like beautiful silk thing as like displaying here I'm just gonna check my phone here let me just see a hey, running box man it's been a while just give me a second guys And Tonus Human is here as well. It's been forever, man. Uh, what if I do, like... Some of these hanging down. Uh, and then... So these are like um, stuff you probably could buy as well in here for the textiles. Yeah, so how would we... I, I like to put signs up on my building so people know what is being sold here. How would we display what we just built? A needle? You can barely see that. Or maybe... Hmm. Nope. <laughs> uh, or maybe a banner? How do, does banner go in? They do. And can't you like put many? Or we could just do that to be honest. I think that that's probably even better. 
Maybe not red though. Uh, let me see what you did with the mana queen there. Boy, you actually did it. <laughs> that looks definitely a lot better. I don't like the floating head. But I think we'll have to live with that. Yeah, I saw that Genova. Um, they're too boring, I think. But uh, let me. I'm stealing this design, by the way. But I think I'm gonna drop the head. Can I place it in here? No. Uh, let me see. I'm not gonna have red though, because that looks like some kind of brothel, and that's not really what we're doing here. I think. To purple, why not? Purple was an expensive color, I think, back in the day, so. But maybe we can edit it a little bit. Uh, I think if we go to. I think there's a few banners here. Maybe there's even like. Do they have a scissor painting? What's that? Oops. Where? Which one? Uh, it's... I'm not sure. I feel like. Whoa. Nah. Oh, yeah, that. but that's like. That's the whole thing. I don't think that. That wouldn't work as. As something here, though. First of all, I can't place it there. Uh, or actually, I could just do... Why don't I just... Take this one. And then maybe I can do...
or that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I could just make them myself. I just didn't feel like spending too much time. But I think that could work. That could work. Uh, hello there, Daniel Huff. Uh, can you... Uh, I probably cannot, because I can't play non-copyright free music. Sorry. That is something I find super weird and interesting how they can like hear that I have used uh, or how a computer can figure out that I have used music that is non-copyrighted or that is not copyright free I guess I just can't believe how a computer program can like analyze and differ from my voice and from the clicking and clacking and then still figure out that oh, this song is actually is not free uh, that it, for me is very very insane um, and we'll have a little bit of a hard time getting some of these rooms here up and running because it's gonna be very tight but uh, we will make it work because eventually I wanna have double walls everywhere So if we do that, um, and then we can just use like trapdoors, vertical slab, and full block to ease you into the full block thing. Um, yeah, let's do that. And then we use, uh, let's say this one here. It has both of them, yeah. And we do, let's do tan stucco maybe. Yeah. So that means we can do this. Hello there, Crooked Juno, trying to get to Krasberg. <laughs> you gotta do warp. We could also put a few trappers on the outside. Um, and I might have to do that for some parts, actually. I might have to do that here. That, that's actually a good thing you mentioned there. Uh, I guess we could. Just for these three blocks here. We could just do trapdoors on the outside. And if we just do like some variations of this you'll you'll just make it look like it's a part of the detail the very cleverly cleverly chosen detail i do good pc yeah it's pretty good if that's what you're asking if it's a question yes if it's uh, just a statement okay i don't know uh but it's pretty all right it does whatever i needed to do so i'm not complaining Yeah, so we'll fill up these and this one here this room should probably be a bedroom of some sort um, and then I like to just variate a little bit between between the build uh, the windows and the wall uh, and then we'll just like the panel on the bottom and then below the windows so we'll do this man scry yeah it, me neither. <laughs> Me neither, so don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I think you got a mannequin design for you. Oh! That, I, I don't, didn't even have to build that, but I think you're right. I think that is a very good mannequin design. Plain... Plain fence? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. 
I don't think there's a plane. Nah, let's just we'll use that. And then we'll do the vase on top. And then the cannonball. Because that's pretty small compared to a player head, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to use that design. It's a little more, a little more oomph to it. It's a little bit more fluffy. And then I won't have, be able to have it here though, but I'll do it here. Can I turn that around? No. All right. Uh, wooden asol hanging bag. Now I think this definitely works. Thank you so much, Sepatos. Sepatot? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can have both. Why not have both? Who would probably have more mannequins? Where is the telescope? There we go. Because if you want to like do cloaks or things that would go over the head, you need to, to have a head for, on it as well. And also to make sure like when you tie it around the neck that you can squeeze a head through it, you know. You kind of want to make sure that you can fit a human sized head inside a thing. All right, but but I have had some French. You can speak un peu français. Je ne parle pas. Je ne parle pas français très beaucoup. I think that's correct. <laughs> I don't know. Please tell me. Did, did I did I say that correctly? Do that and we'll do a little kitchen here and then we can have the dining area here with some beautiful views uh, and then an exit uh, or entrance whatever you want to call it to the little balcony here and this is beautiful I love this idea scry well kind of dot 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 does that mean not really you understood okay <laughs> that, that's all I need you know I'm not going to write any French books anytime soon, so as long as you can understand what I'm saying, I, I'm happy. We'll do a little bit of a digging behind here, uh, and I think we'll add stone bricks because they look a little bit like they've seen some fire, you know. And actually, uh, I'm gonna there we go. What you said is how babies are saying. Uh, all right, yeah. Like um, syntax, I guess it's not perfect. Well, well, at least you understood me. I, that I'm totally fine by that. 
And if you're wondering why there's a lot of like chimneys that are undone, it's because I like to go over and mix them up a little bit so that like they're different heights and that the smoke is all blowing in the same direction. Some of them I just do on the fly, but it, like there's a lot of undone chimneys. So I like to to go back and kind of redo them. Uh, I like to put in the... No, actually, let me leave the roof off for now. Because that can give me some natural light when I'm doing interior. So, yeah. Uh, I need to get <laughs> up again, though. Um... Okay, that kind of worked out perfectly there. I think that's... Kind of cool if we do. Yeah, that is like an interesting design there, but I like it. And then we'll squeeze in a little bit of a trap chest there and just fill up this with stuff and things, you know. You know the drill. Can I? I'll put that there because I like the glass thing. But maybe. Oh, let's go full block. I just want to add some more depth to this. But I guess if we do. Two of them. Yeah. So when you're doing kitchens, I find the best way of making it look like populated, I guess would be the word, is to, to just go a little bit overboard with the stuff you add. Uh, you don't want it to feel messy, but uh, I feel like medieval kitchens wouldn't be like just plain simple. Try to add like clothes hangers, boxes, things here and there just to make it like feel like it's being used in a way that's at least what I like to do and I feel like for me it has helped and worked a lot so it's just something to maybe think about when you're doing kitchens because uh, a lot of people struggle a lot with interiors myself included uh, I always find interiors harder than exteriors um, but I find them a lot of fun as well because they're challenging There's two corpse bodies, but I don't want to have a dead body in my thing. That looks horrifying. That looks very horrifying. <laughs> you love to build them? Yeah, I guess it, like it's a matter of opinions. I, let, let's see. It looks like I just hanged a guy from a staircase. <laughs> it looks like I hanged a guy from a staircase. No, I, I can't have that there. I won't be monetized on YouTube when I show this video off. So no, no way. <laughs> I'm going to do the old fashioned uh, uh, design we had here. And we're just going to have to live with that, guys. And honestly, I like it. I think um, Kebab Remover did a great job. I'm going, to be, I'm going to work on the marriage today. Yeah, I'm going to get married. <laughs> uh, we're going to finish this building here. I think that's the whole, or at least try to finish it. We'll see how much time that takes. Uh, but we are working on the market square area. Oh, grandma passed, passed away. Yeah. The, sh the business was hers, but I was... Um, I was... What's it called? What's it called? I was... Inheriting the shop whenever she would pass away, so she, she passed. Yeah, she fell down the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, definitely. A little edit of the mannequin. Many great mannequin design here. But yeah, uh, I said to. Uh, yeah, I got I got updated here. Yep, very cool. But 
Man, I'm freezing a little bit on my feet. Uh, where do I have my hot socks? Ah, they're there. Just a second, guys. <laughs> I just need to to get my warmer socks, which is my go-to clothes. Can you see them? It looks like there's a big hole in that one. It's not though. It's just shading. But they are so great in Norway when it's cold. It's putting them all over your legs and it's or feet and stuff. Ah. Definitely, definitely a saver. What would you call them? Like, wool so we call them ulsokkor, but that would not work in English. Wool socks. Warmer, warmer socks. <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be socks though. Well, it's not cold, but but the apartment I live in is not like super well isolated, uh, so we can get a little, little bit cold on the floor. So, yeah. Feet savers. Yep. They're literally wool socks. Okay, wool. I've never heard that term though, but okay. I can live with that. It makes it just easier for me to remember what it is because it's literally just trans translating word for word. So, What do you mean, Scry? You discovered... I don't think I understand you. Fussy Socks? I just feel like they would have like a cooler name, like... Yeah, Fussy Socks would work. Uh, by the way, is there some kind of lore you'll add to Crasper or something, like... Yeah, do you want to know the lore? Do, how much of the lore do you know, Sapetot? Because there is a very like detailed and uh, intricate lore for this place, but uh, if it really depends on if you know it or not. Because uh, we we could tell a little bit about that. Um, maybe we could have some debatings on what to where to take the lore as well. Yeah, that's true though, Scry. Yeah, no, I understand what you mean as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I would believe my computer would heat up, but it's... It's cold air coming out of the computer. And it says a little bit about the computer that I should be happy about my computer, but I would just just a little warmth wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> I wouldn't be mad if it just like a wee bit of warmth. I don't know much. Um, okay, so if you came around the castle time, then most of the lore shouldn't have been mentioned too much in uh, in the videos. Um, so basically. Uh, if you guys are up with that, just stop me if you're bored of hearing the the lore. But I, I find it super interesting. Uh, I don't remember all the lore in my head. But um, let's see how much... I, oh, I got to remember to put windows here. Uh, Krasberg is the capital of the Western Occupation. Uh, which is the, the, the biggest... Um, what you call it? Like, uh, the biggest power... In the lands of Amirea, which is a continent, which is like uh, all of this here is it's huge. Uh, it's Amirea. It's a big continent, and the Western occupation 
is the biggest one. They're called the Western Occupation because they're not from here. They came from the West, from the lands of Moria, uh, L'Oreal. <laughs> Uh, oops. Um, they came from the west, from the lands of Soria, and they um, they invaded this land. the The people from the west were uh, absolutely not Moria, but Soria. Uh, the people were absolutely like ahead of them uh, of the normal people of the local people living here. It's a little bit like the Americans coming to South America. They were just like. 200 years ahead of them uh, so they just pretty much just took over the whole entire thing uh, in uh, just a little bit and then Krasberg with this very unique shape here uh, there's two big rivers which takes you up through the land and stuff it became a very central point for them so um, uh, Krasberg is like the main city for this occupation here uh, and it's the wealthiest city, one of the wealthiest cities. Yeah, maybe more like 800 years, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a historian, but um, but yeah. So, so they were like a very ahead of them and then that turned Krasberg to being the one of the most, um, most uh, like civilized and richest cities of this place. Hey, thank you, Maxime, for the follow. Appreciate that. I want to see if I can squeeze in another window somewhere here, though. Can we do that here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Um, then um, the current population of Krasberg, I don't know. Uh, I could check. I do have... Let me see here. Um, 636. That was counted 6th of July. Okay, so that's a long time ago. I guess we're way over 1,000 beds right now. Um... But realistically, we we're talking half a million, you know, uh, for the lore to kind of make sense. But but since we're building every individual house, it's obviously a lot smaller. So where there, uh, let me show you. Uh, so Peter, this is clip set. Actually, I, I really advise you to go over and find some of my very oldest videos where I build a lot of this stuff. Um, this is Clipstead, the biggest city from the northern territory, from the Norsemen. Hello there, Super Swaggerize, welcome. Uh, it is uh, a medieval, like early, very early medieval city. Uh, and this kind of set the standard for the other people here. Uh, it has a big castle uh, and it's just a really cool area. Yeah, but Rome had like almost a million, I think. When Rome was at its largest, there were like almost a million inhabitants in Rome. Uh, so yeah, check out Clipstead, Sapaidot, if you wanna. Uh, we also have Akan. That's a very short series. You could check out. Uh, it's up in the mountains. It's like a five episode series. Quick watch, like a little bit over an hour. Uh, oh. Wait, does that mean you will make more Krasbergian city? No, there's only going to be one Krasberg, but the Westers, the people that live in Krasberg, they have more cities. Um, we have Warp Fort. Fort Rocco is... This is a Wester city. This is the same people that live in Krasberg. They live here. We built this a while back. This was actually showcased by Keralis. If you didn't see that video, I recommend you checking that out. That was kind of cool. Uh, Keralis and Andy Isyoda did a showcase of this, which was awesome for me. Um, hello, Martifart. What are all these builds in continent? All of these buildings are on the same map. Um, 
So you can travel actually from them. You have you have uh, Fort Rocco, which is one of the wealthiest towns uh, in the Western occupation. But you also have no the Almighty Ass, <laughs> as we call it here. Uh, this is Asa. It's a work in progress city. It's also super uh, like simple. But this is newer Mediterranean text uh, architecture. Really like this place. Definitely got to get back to this. And uh, we also have Shamar. Shamar is one of the earlier settlements. They were probably be more serious with Crasper architecture. Probably. And uh, this is Shamar as well. Another series I'd recommend checking out. Um, where uh, it, it's just a simple one. I think it's like a five episode series as well. Real quick watch. Uh, and these are like the, the sim most simple people living. Living and or that was living and currently living in, in Amirea. Uh, Asa is located here. And Krasberg is way over here. So it's not far from Krasberg. And Asa would be... Um, do we have more places? Yeah, we have... Uh, Warp Haven. Asa would be like the Lord of Krasberg's vacation city. <laughs> is there a map of the whole world? Um, go in my Discord, Mark the Fart. I love the name, by the way. <laughs> Get in my server, my Discord server. Uh, that's down below in the panel, so you can just click that, and it'll be taken straight there. Uh, and there is a chat for. I'm lagging a little bit now. Uh, it's called Lore. There are maps of the territories of the cities and all that stuff. Yeah, so go to Discord, check out that uh, you can see all the territories and, and all the cities, and yeah. And also read the lore, if you want to. There are documents on all of the lore. And uh, this is Haven Bay. This is the first building we did. Um, and this is also under the Western Occupation. So this is where... Um, uh, can you actually see... Asa is not on the map in the Discord. So you have to open up the link and go in there. Uh, this was is also under the Western occupation, and this is a trading town uh, very close to um, Or not very close. It's very far away from everything and then we have uh, Thornsbury over there uh, Shamar is over here Port Rocco up here We also have <laughs> we have a lot of towns you can check out we do have Rosewill Love this place. Why is the warp moved? Let me try that again. It's supposed to take you inside here, but... Well, well, I'll fix that. Um, this is also a little town. This is under the Western Occupation again. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Have I... I don't know. Might have forgotten a little... Place here and there. There are so many smaller towns and stuff around this place as well. Also, guys, uh, I've been thinking about uh, doing some showcases, or I've been talking to and planning on doing some showcases on uh, Westeros Craft. So, if you have any special towns and cities you want me to check out on there, uh, what would that be? Thank you, Ragnar. Well, lag. Why is that here? Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. My render distance is at 47. I'll tune that down a little bit. <laughs> kind of weird I didn't get the lag before now, though. Probably because I was traveling around the world. Mr. Worldwide. And just seeing everything. The Big King's Landing. Yeah, I wouldn't... There's already tours on that on YouTube. Uh, I'll probably maybe check that out myself eventually. But I wanted to just do things that are has not been shown yet on YouTube. 
like maybe smaller builds uh, and also to be honest king's landing well after they revamped it it's actually pretty awesome but some of the buildings there are not like super super interesting uh but i've seen i've been touring a little bit for myself and there are some buildings there that are very very cool like some castles and stuff that are just mind-blowingly awesome Oh, I'm getting tired. Wow. Hmm. That came out of nowhere. Uh, we we are ep on episode 55 next Thursday, uh, which means over 55 weeks. So way over a year. Way over a year. Yeah. Oh, where's the painting gone? There we go. Um, let's do that. And maybe squeeze in some knives. Because why not? Well, yeah, the whole thing have two years. But only Krasberg is... Um, over a year. The whole thing is two or three years. Let me check that real quick actually. The first video ever on this map was published 17th of January 2018 so over two years since I started yeah Thick Vigo wide <laughs> This is some doors here yeah and Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. So this is going to be the master bedroom, which is actually kind of small, but... Hey, thank you. 69, funny, funny number, I guess. Welcome to the stream, how are you? Let's do that, and then do... Try re-logging, Aqui. Or maybe I'm just building too fast, who knows? That was Fry's head, if it's there, so uh, maybe not. See ya, Aqui. Have a good one. Hmm, I wonder, can I open this up somehow? No. Just leave it like that. Actually, yeah. Totally fine with that. Let's move around and work our way up here. And, and I'm just, I'm going to fill in these walls here. And, and I think we're going to call it a day. Um... We've been streaming for over two hours, which is what I'm aiming for always, uh, because 
personally, I just can't sit for too long. Uh, I need to, to move my, my butt a little bit, my tiny butt around. So um, I think we will... Um, I think we will call it there. Let's take a little look at what we did here. And I might send you over to one of my friends uh, if there's someone streaming. Um, very happy with this building here. Nice way of finishing off this whole town. I think it really ties it all together. Uh, I think um, the color definitely works even though it's a little bit on the edge. Uh, I think it just makes this whole city square feel alive and feel wealthy and cool and unique in a way giving it a little bit of character yeah i think it works thank you joha welcome yeah i like this a lot i am very happy with uh, the shape of all of this thank you have you been here so long have i oh wow thank you Thank you so much. And we have Kuxi there. Welcome. One, two, three. Welcome to the stream. Uh, you know what? Uh, before I go, before I you go and I go and all of that jazz, let me put in a little bit of a flower bed or planter thing. Oh, can you please share with me, Scry? Yes, I'm from YouTube. That that's where I usually am. Um, but I do stream here whenever I feel like streaming a little bit. So if you haven't checked me out on YouTube, you definitely got to go over there. That's where the action happens. Oh man, I'm just so happy with this building here. And then we're tying this this building here, thing in here. And uh, I might want to try something a little cool with texturing. This bit here. See your kebab remover. Thank you, Scry. <laughs> you gotta throw it really hard though to bring it across the internet, but thank you. Uh, that's probably going to be for my, my task for the rest of the week. Will probably be market stalls and stuff like that. Uh, so that's going to come up on Thursday when the video releases as usual. Uh, and there will be... There will be uh, market stalls. Hopefully some, at least a few. Uh, thank you co-op for the follow there really appreciate that hello there dan you're coming a little late uh we're about to to hop off we're about to hop off um but i just doing a little bit of thing here yeah that's why i kind of mean you had to throw it super hard man uh yeah this is cool can i do no let's leave it like that these are uh, these are mods yeah Conquest Reforged, uh, let me see here. Follow that link and you'll see all of the stuff. Thank you, Dan. Let's appreciate this. Let's try to do, take some cool screenshots, shall we? Always like doing that. Uh, I'm gonna... Maybe put it up here. I don't know. Okay. Why do I need to do that super? Oh. No, huh? Mm. I don't see anything. Is there anything wrong here? If this was a ripe if Minecraft, what do you mean? 
It, it is modded. You, you need a mod and a texture pack as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like, whoa, is there something wrong here? But okay, you just like it. Uh, thank you so much then, man. Thank you. Uh, see, let's see. Hey, filthy coin. What is up, man? How are you? Let's see if we can take some cool screenshots there. That's pretty neat. Uh, P times set. I think 8,000 is a nice view from here. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Maybe 10,000 is even better. Ooh, no. That's a little bit on the edge. 9,000. 7, maybe then? Oh, that's nice. Uh, some nice moody lighting right there. <laughs> yeah. Filthy coin. That's that's very unusual. That's very unusual. Uh, but I'm about to go. Uh, it's getting late. I've been streaming for a while. Uh, I'm just enjoying this place. Taking some pictures. I think... I hope this don't ruin the view we get from here. When I had to go to... It kind of does. <laughs> um... Oh, well, well. It's just atmosphere. <laughs> Crashing, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, what do you mean about the roof, jo Joha? Uh, did you say anything? Show your favorite view from a window. Ah, <laughs> the correct. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. We're not gonna do that today or right now though. I might do that later, uh, but for now, I don't think I'll do that. Uh, the best view from the window would probably be, I think here. Thornsbury, is that what you mean? Or Thornlands? Is it autocorrect again? Yeah, this would be the best view from a window or here, I think. <laughs> You're autocorrect. It's definitely not not happy with with my names, I guess. And also the view from from some of the balconies are pretty beautiful. Like from I think this would be the best because you're kind of low still uh, and you can see the whole like the whole wide view of this place um but here you'll get a tan so i don't know i don't know you'll have the stolen mark this one here or maybe this one i don't know this one doesn't have too much of a good view though but but anyway, guys, I think we'll I'll leave you at that. Uh, we'll see if there is anyone to raid. It looks like maybe Dartmorg is on. I love going over to his place because he's always, he's always fun. Uh, and also... Uh, Monsterfish is on. Monsterfish is working on textures. What do you want to see, guys? Monsterfish, Drathmorg, or Joel Duggan? Or Andy. Andy is also on. Oh no, Joel Duggan is not on. Um, you want to see Monster Fish? Monster Fish. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's give him a little bit of a raid, shall we? First of all, guys, it's been so much fun hanging out with you today. I uh, hope to see you the next time. And go over to Monster Fish. Give him some love for me, guys. Uh, he's the creator of the mod we're currently playing, so you, you gotta you gotta pay him some respect because he's the mastermind behind what everything that I do. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Uh, we'll start the raid here, and, and I will see all of you later. Make sure to check out my videos on YouTube, my latest um, showcase. If you haven't, you'll probably enjoy that. Uh, but let's go over there right now. See you guys. It's been fun.